Let's talk about the issue for, for Europe, which is a rising value of the euro, no sign of inflation. What would your conversation be with Mr. Draghi in terms of his biggest issue to deal with? Well, as a member of the Eurogroup and, and seeing my colleagues, uh, you know, the other countries, because Malta is really not in line with them uh, as far as inflation is concerned, ours is one, a very healthy 1.6 percent, but that's for other reasons. But um, we would like a very strong uh, euro, eurozone, and uh, uh, we are very worried, of course, if, if the euro do, um, doesn't keep uh, its weak uh, position because it, it needs to be stimulating uh, exports uh, and therefore. Uh, simulating the economies all over, we're, we're you know, so it, it does affect. It's not just the exchange rate, but also uh, the policy. Uh, you're quite correct. And if I look at what's happening with the exchange rate, we're up, what, 9% from a 13-year low in March. There's a great deal of expectation placed on the heads of the ECB. Are you an advocate? Do you believe in quantitative easing, Minister? Well, I, I think the central bank has run out of, of all the ammunition, so, I mean, that's what is left on the table, and it has to be done well. The problem is the uh, complication, because it takes two to tango, and you've got, you know, the uncertainties on both sides of the Atlantic, and, and therefore it's not a very simple, uh, straightforward uh, game, so to speak. It, it's not. Another major issue which is dominating the European agenda is, of course, the immigrant crisis. Angela Merkel opening the doors of Germany, the east of Europe, balking at, at the concept of European policy. Um, what do you make of, of this east-west European divide on the immigrant crisis, sir? We, we can understand here in Malta because we passed the same experience when we had a, a different type of immigration from, from sub-Saharan Africa. And the first reaction is of, of shock. It's one thing seeing it on television and, and another thing seeing it in your backyard. So um, I can understand. And, and sometimes the comments made, you, you know, you would think that they, they, they are racist comments. They are not. It's a question of, of people having their normal type of behavior and, and, and going on with their life, uh, all of a sudden, you know, faced with, 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 with a, a massive uh, inflow of people and you just can't, can't cope. So it, it will, you know, it, it needs some time to, for, for governments and their own people to, to uh, get acquainted with that and, and face reality. So um, one should not go by the first reactions. But definitely um, uh, humanitarian, you know, uh, Europe ca can't, can't turn its back to this and, and we need to do whatever it takes to, to cope with it because, uh, we, we, you know, especially people who have experienced all the Second World War and then its aftermath, you know, ha have to be more understanding. But in our, in our case here, we're in Malta, we're now faced with a different type, uh, mostly from, from North Africa and, 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 and also the Middle East somewhat. And uh, some of it is, is salutary, so to speak. You know, we, we're, we have very, very entrepreneurial people and, and, and ready to work. So, uh, you know, you, you get uh, all sorts. Minister, what's your biggest concern? I, I, I'm reading with, with, with some reasonable interest uh, the Portuguese story at the moment, and I, I want to get your take on it. There's a, there's a title in the Telegraph today, Portugal's Berlin Wall Moment, Communists and Anti-Euro Leftists Set to Enter Government. Is this a risk, sir? Are you concerned about it? Because this is a growing, a growing backlash, isn't it? You've got Greece, you've got Podemos, you've got, you've got even here in the UK. I know we're not part of the euro, but we've certainly, we've certainly swung aggressively to the left with the Labour Party leadership. How concerned about Portugal are you? Is it a Berlin Wall moment? Well, you know, I've changed, you know, give rise to all sorts of political ideologies and, and you know, but, but it's only countries who are moderate who'd really attract investment and, and, and stability. And I must say, you know, uh, Malta is an example because of, of its uh, economic and political stability and uh, it, movement towards the centre yeah, that's attra attracting so many companies and, and, and here to, to uh, base themselves here and operate from Malta, given that the region, I mean, especially North Africa and the Middle East, is so unstable. So Malta is, is doing very well with its 5% growth, l l latest uh, statistics is because of that, you know. So, uh, you know, it, it is disconcerting to hear so many extreme, you know, uh, opinions, but um, it's, it's normal. The, the, the countries who've managed to contain those and, and, and have certain stability, 
will definitely um, have a favorable uh, results, and you know Malta has uh, is doing that. Minister, thank you very much for the time. Um, enjoy enjoy the day's meeting with uh, those additional tourists on your island, Edward Sikluna, Finance Minister of Malta.